people. You got too much time on your hand when you're not worrying about yourself and you're worrying about others. You got too much time on your hand, you don't have a life. The size of not having a life is when you don't have time to take care of you because you find a time to, to worry about other people. You a person who dip in everybody else's business, who, who you, you put your nose in everybody else's conversation. And then when it comes time to you perform and take care of your business, you can't do it. You're lacking. You're lacking in taking care of your own business because your energy is in somebody else's business. And when somebody tell you about yourself because you're lacking in your own performances, you're getting your feelings. I'm confused about why you're getting in your feelings. It is what it is, right? This is your choice. People, you got too much time on your hand when you're worrying about Tommy, when you're worrying about Delilah. You're not yet sure how much you've died for no one. You've died for no one. You can't take care of Delilah. You can't take care of Ricky. You can't take care of Shama. You can't take care of nobody. You can barely take care of yourself. Stay out of people's affairs. Stop worrying about what somebody over here doing. Stop, stop worrying about what somebody over here saying. Worry about yourself. But see, this is a habitual situation with people. I realize dealing with people every day. It's a habitual thing that they cannot stop doing. They, it's, a, it's, it's, it's like a disease. They can't, they can't help it. They need some type of medication. They need a cure. They need a spiritual cure for their habits, for their diseases. Some people don't even want to be cured from it. You got too much time on your hand when you're worrying about other people's affairs and not worrying about your own. Huh? You got too much time on your hands when you're seeking validation from other people because you don't truly know who you are. Huh? You got too much time on your hand when you're going around trying to irritate people because you're miserable, you're bored. When somebody tell you what you should do with your own life, you get timid. You get scared and frustrated because you don't want to deal with your own personal affairs. It's too much like right taking care of your business. Huh? It's too much like right. You'd rather, you rather worry about Tommy. You'd rather worry about Delilah. You'd rather worry about Pookie and Ray Ray. That's better for you because... All you got to do is just be nosy. All you got to do is just give your little shenanigan inputs about somebody else's affairs, which don't even matter. That's another thing. Your, your, your opinions don't matter about what, how you feel about somebody else with their business. Hey, huh? Hey, you, you take care of your own business, pay your own rent, work, get your skills up, get your work performance up. Get up on time. Go to bed on time. Brush your teeth. Comb your hair. Wash your butt. Your stink. Put some deodorant on. Dush. Whatever. Put some gas in your car. Fill it up. Huh? Turn your lights out if, you, if your light bill is too high. Stay off the phone. Pay your own phone bill. Huh? No, go get your go get you a haircut. You look shabby. You look shaggy. Huh? No, I'm calling it out. Take care of you before you stop before you can continue on worrying about somebody else. Stop irritating others because you're bored. And you're looking for some negative excitement because you're miserable with your own life. People, you got too much time on your hand when you're irritating other people who's trying to do things in life, who's trying to be motivated by being around positive people, but you're, 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 you're squeezing on in trying to throw your negative shade about it because you're miserable and you get mad when positive people don't want to have nothing to do with you. You look stupid because you don't know how to hold a decent conversation. Why ain't nobody talking to me? Because you don't know how to talk to people. You don't know how to hold a decent conversation. I'm tired of people in their 40s and 50s that don't know how to talk to another 40 or 50-year-old, but know how to talk with a 20-year-old. 
Know how to talk with an 18 year old. Got a whole lot in common with an 18. What 50 some years got a, got something in common with an 18 year old? Tell me right now. Leave your comments below. When I don't know something, I'm asking. What do an older person got in common with a 20 year old? What you going out with a 20 year old for you in your 50s? Why you ha ha he he with teenagers? And you can't even hold a decent conversation with someone your age. And then get mad when they ignore you. Get on my level. It ain't about being better than somebody. It's about being wise. I like to be around wise people, not fools. Don't get mad at me because I'm not going to continue on the conversation when you decide to, to, to detour your conversation. We're talking about Tommy and Larry and Bobo and Felicia and them. I don't, I don't care about none of them. Why you care? I don't care about none of them. I don't care about your inputs about none of them. You can't do nothing for them. Why get worrying about them? Why you always talking about this person? If you like that person, go holler at them. You like her, go holler at her. Why you always talking about this and that and the other? Why you always talking to the next person about somebody else? Go go talk to the person who you have you feel about them. Go talk to them. Don't tell me about how you feel about somebody. I don't care. You got too much time on your hand when you're worrying about somebody else. You got too much time on your hand when you get mad because somebody that's your age don't want to hold a decent conversation with because you don't know how to return it. You don't know how to return a decent conversation back. You got too much time on your hands when you're always negative, when you're always mad, when you're sensitive. I can't stand an old sensitive person who's patty and get mad when nobody want to pepper their emotions. I can't stand an old fool who always want to find fault in the next person because they, they, they're intimidated about their work skills or they're, they're, they're not understanding or they're perceiving someone the way they want to perceive them because of their own insecurities. Huh? I'm tired of it. Get you some business. I want to talk to those who have a life. I want to talk to those. I want to deal with those who got wisdom. I'm tired of fools. I'm tired of dealing with fools. Young, old, whatever, I'm tired, of, I'm tired of dealing with fools, miserable fools. Get on my level, I'm tired of it. That's the reason why I have no problem. I have all the courage in the world to travel by myself. That's why. Where you at? Where you at? Get on my level. 